Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 21, Homework. Number 1, answer the questions by checking the box. Is a square a rectangle? So a square is always a rectangle because it always has um, four 90 degree angles and the opposite sides that are the same length. Is a rectangle a kite? A rectangle is sometimes a kite because it doesn't always have the adjacent sides that are the same length. So B, or letter H down here says, for each statement you answered with sometimes, draw and label an example that justifies your answer. So let's just go ahead and do that. So is a rectangle a kite? I would say this rectangle right here is not a kite because these two sides are not adjacent. Um, They are adjacent. They aren't the same size. So adjacent sides aren't equal. But if I were to draw, for example, a square, that is a rectangle, and the adjacent sides are the same length. So that's an example of B, of a rectangle being a kite. So C, is a rectangle a parallelogram? A rectangle is always a parallelogram because a rectangle always has opposite sides that are parallel and the same length, so it's always a parallelogram. D, is a square a trapezoid? A square is always a trapezoid because it always has at least one pair of parallel sides because in fact it has to have two pairs of parallel sides. Is a parallelogram a trapezoid? So a parallelogram is also always a trapezoid because it always has at least one pair of parallel sides and in fact has to have two pairs of parallel sides. Is a trapezoid a parallelogram? Well that's where it's going to be sometimes. And I'll just outline that in pink so we know that's the explanation and B there. Okay, so is a trapezoid a parallelogram? Sometimes, because for example, this trapezoid, it's not the best trapezoid, but you get the point. That trapezoid doesn't have two pairs of parallel sides. But if I were to draw, let's see, for example, this, that does have two pairs of parallel sides. So, and it is a trapezoid because it has at least one pair of parallel sides. G, is a kite a parallelogram? So a kite is just sometimes a parallelogram. So for example, this kite, where these two sides are equal and these are equal, doesn't have two pairs of parallel sides. But if I draw a square, where the adjacent sides are the same length and it has two pairs of parallel sides, then that would be a kite that is a parallelogram. Number two, use what you know about quadrilaterals to answer each question below. A, explain when a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Sketch an example. Okay, so when a trapezoid, something that has at least one parallel side, pair of parallel sides is not a parallelogram. So kind of like what I drew up above. So, so that's a trapezoid. Those two sides are the same length. Those two sides are the same length. So explain when a trapezoid is not a, parale a parallelogram. We could say when it only has one pair of parallel sides.
And B, explain when a kite is not a parallelogram. Sketch an example. So here's a kite. Kind of. Well, those two sides are equal and those two sides are equal. So when a kite is not a parallelogram, um, we can say it's, an, so this isn't a parallelogram because it doesn't have two pairs of parallel sides. So it's not a parallelogram when it doesn't have two pairs of parallel sides. So basically the only way for a kite to be a parallelogram is for it to look like a square.